Okay, today I'm going to show you, this is just a small middle of the week video. I'm going to show you my Altoid Sin flashlight that I built. Um, I'm going to explain how I made it, what it does. That's a flashlight, obviously. And I'm just going to show it to you really quick. It's going to be a short video. I might be late getting up my weekly electronics video, so hopefully this will make up for that. Should be doing it on the Atari Punk console. So, let's check out my flashlight. So, what it is, pretty simple. Just a flashlight. It's kind of hard to see, but it's just... If you turn on the side TV, it's a switch. Double pull, double throw. And just a simple momentary tacti tactical switch. Tactile. Inside is very simple. It is just a 9 volt battery and some wiring. I'll explain the wiring in a second. Um, one second. Okay, so the 9 volt battery has the two leads. It's kind of hard to see. One second. Let's see if I can get some better lighting. Uh, this is kind of helping. So, uh, basically what's happening is the 9 volt battery the negative goes to the negative of the LEDs and then the positive goes into the switch and the push goes into the switch or the push button it, it goes into both but whatever one you press will determine what happens and then that go then the uh, other side of the switch goes through a resistor actually two resistors I couldn't find a 470 ohm so I had to make do with a 220 and I think a 330 for 550, which is close enough. It's kind of hard to see if the camera would focus, so it would help a lot more. And then it's just two LEDs in parallel. It's very simple, didn't take me long to make. But it is pretty bright, and I'll show you that really quick. Try and keep this video shorter. Uh, just LEDs light up. Push button. Okay, I'll turn the lights off and show you how bright it is. One second. Okay, I got it off. That's just the back light that I turned off. Uh, so I don't know if you can see that. The camera's not going to pick it up as well as it actually is. But it actually is very bright in real life. Uh, kind of hard to see. I'll tilt the camera. But uh, basically... Oh, that's a lot better. You can pretty much see my whole workbench, my shelf, all that stuff. Let me just get this light back on really quick. This back light. Okay, that's a lot better. Stand fell off. So basically, it works very good. I, I like it. It's very bright. Didn't take too long to make. Oh, I'll explain one more thing really quick before I go. But... I made this with just scrap parts I'd lying around. This is from, like, broken RC car that had headlights, I think. Maybe a broken flashlight. One of the two. The button is from a VCR. The switch. What, uh, let's see. I think the switch was from uh, another RC car or something. Power switch. 9-volt battery, smoke detector, resistors, and wire. I just kind of had lying around from various things. So, uh, one more quick thing. The slots. Uh, that slot's nothing. That's just a slight mistake there. Um, I had plans for doing something different. I was going to add a laser, and I still might do that. I just haven't gotten around, gotten around to it yet. But it's very simple. I just took my Dremel. Cuts aren't great, but it works pretty good. I just took it. Uh, made a couple passes with a smaller bit and it got the slide in there then same for that one which I had plans for uh, this was just and then these were just uh, just took a drill so it's pretty simple didn't take too long to make it's pretty easy to use runs on 9 volt batteries lasts battery lasts quite a while I don't use it very much because I do have real flashlights like this one that are quite a bit brighter but this works very well 
I can't complain too much. I mean, fits in your pocket. Recycling some stuff. I mean, it wasn't even too hard to make. Cost me absolutely nothing. Because I just had the tin lying around. I had all the parts, just scraps. So, it's not too hard to make. There's probably other videos on YouTube how to make one. Or there's probably like an Instructables link or something. But, uh, that's it for today. Um, so, this isn't my actual basic electronics. This is just something I built this weekend. Thought I'd show you. So, have a nice day. I'll see you later. Bye.